There was a man who lived in a shoe. The shoe was a comfy place for the man, though. It has nice padded walls, a skylight, and he feels safe. So safe, in fact, he doesn't even realize there's no door, and there's no way out except a skylight. But at least he feels safe. Safe in a space he controls. The only knowledge he has about the outside world is through his skylight. He doesn't feel like any other information can be relevant. Because he can see through his skylight of his shoe. And that is enough for him. He is happy in this knowledge. He is content. A new person outside the shoe sees one awfully big house-sized shoe in the middle of their neighborhood. Obviously concerned why they saw this and wondering how no one else is seeing it. They went to investigate. Only that they had a single strand of the shoe's laces to use to reach the skylight, to find some common ground in which they could communicate with anyone stuck inside. They make their way to the rim of the shoe and peer down into the dimly lit area. They didn't have to look hard to find the man, though, as the man had already started yelling at the person for blocking his view of his skylight on what he believes to be a gorgeous day. But when the person looked up to the sky, all they saw was rain, and it seemed to be getting darker by the moment. The person, concerned for the man in the shoe, lowered a rope, which the man denied. Then a ladder, which he vehemently refused. The person then explained to the man where he was and why he should leave, giving him proof in terms of his surroundings, things the man himself could confirm using his own thoughts. He still denied the offer, not realizing his shoe was filling with polluted rainwater. Finally, the person even asked if they could carry the man out themselves, exclaiming that the man had not doors nor windows to help himself. The man still refused to accept any help. The person stayed as long as they could to try to help the man. But he did not want help. In fact, he did not see himself as being in need of help. He even thinks the flood waters are getting all the grime and dust off of his furniture. He thinks he's seen a shine in them that he hasn't seen in years. So he welcomed more flood water into his shoe until all that passerbys see is a house-sized shoe overflowing with water.